Hey YouTubers, good to see y'all. And uh, I'm gonna take a little bit different slant on this video. Kind of I'm uh, branching out my tentacles with different topics on this channel, which is probably gonna kill me. But uh, who gives a flip anyway, right? But uh, I wanna talk to you, you guys that are have a small YouTube channel, and I'm I'm gonna call, classify mine as a small channel. I've got uh, right now about 2,300 subscribers, not a huge amount, but it actually that's 2,300 people that have clicked on me and decided to stick with me for, for the short term at least. But I want to talk to you guys that want to start a YouTube channel or have a channel that's about my size and uh, tell you what is being the attraction for my channel and what chases people off <laughs> like a wet dog. and. Um, and it's really actually pretty easy and uh, I can see that um, some videos yes you need to give patience that they, they may just kind of sit sit in your queue there for a year and then all of a sudden they take off and I've had a couple of videos that do that but uh, now after I have done this for for a bit and uh, I can see what people are coming to look for in my channel and like I say, these later videos, I'm sure I'm disappointing a lot of people and I'm losing some people. I, but I'm also gaining some different subscribers because I can see it in the comments that I'm receiving. But uh, first of all, let's consider that YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google, right? So people are coming to try to figure out, you know, how to take the carburetor off my 1999 Ford Taurus or how to... Uh, you know get the headlights out of my grand marquee or how to change uh you know uh, or do finish carpentry or how to how to sew or you know how to grow tomatoes that's always one of my favorite subjects right but people are coming to they're using this as the, as the new day encyclopedia if, you, if you're as old as me you remember the old encyclopedia britannicas and so people are looking for a reference and so they want the video to tell them how it goes really quick so if you do a 20 minute on doing something they're gonna watch two minutes of it if you're lucky and so granted if your video should only take two minutes to talk about or even 30 seconds so uh, these long-winded videos they don't cut it so keep your video short um, it's the instructional videos it's the product reviews that people are coming to look for now I can see for sure these these vloggers that have a million hits uh, the Casey Neistat's uh, have you uh, people are coming and returning to them because they just they like the person and and, and they want to know what that guy did that day it's kind of like coming back and and watching the next uh, Andy Griffith rerun they want to see uh, what's what's Andy and Barney going to do today that's just totally whacked out and so they return to these uh, favorite people. I, I think it's been proven that if somebody comes back and watches your videos, uh, watches 30 of your videos, they're they're hanging in there with you and they want to know what you're up to. They've, they've kind of have got to know you as a person. And that's a little bit what I'm trying to do with these videos, admittedly. I'm trying to let you know me as a person. And I really enjoy doing the instructional videos, uh, but I'm trying to do something a little bit more more in depth uh, because there's so many instructional videos out on how to use Persona Studio One, how to use Cakewalk, how to use a compressor, uh, is this the best microphone and uh, and so people uh, you know they can easily find that stuff and I've made a lot of those videos I've learned a lot uh, it's helping me learn how to do better videos and, and, and come across uh, you know to where I can hopefully get to the point a little quicker <laughs> so as I ramble on with this video but um, so if you're just starting out and you just want to think that you well I'm gonna start out and I want to be a vlogger and I want to I want to just document uh, uh, my day of, of what I'm getting out of my refrigerator and how I how I go about raking my leaves um, you're not gonna get any viewers people aren't interested in that when you get two million viewers or two million subs, um, <laughs> feel free to branch out on that because people will probably be interested and you'll probably start increasing your subscriber count uh, immensely with that. You get this little 
following or kind of click. Starting out right now, if you're in the little audio home studio niche like I am, stick to the instructional stuff, stick to uh, the how-to videos, stick to equipment reviews, keep your yapper shut, <laughs> which is hard for me to do, and uh, people don't want your opinion, they want facts. That's what they're coming to your channel for. You don't need a million hits to give a good review on an RE20 microphone. Uh, in fact, you can go find my uh, my uh, video on that. It, it got a lot of hits. Um, but, uh, you know, as long as you've got one and, and you're using it properly, <laughs> they're going to come and watch your channel. You know, it's just it's all about credibility, you know. So that's it, guys. We're going to see in the next video. I'm going to give you more opinions. Stay tuned for that.